Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about different types of scanning patterns and acquisition. So, acquisition and scanning pattern. Before going to that acquisition, what do you mean by acquisition? In order to acquire a target information, we are using different types of uh, scanning patterns. Acquisition is nothing but acquisition is nothing but acquiring the presence of the target acquiring the information related to target whether the target is located or not okay so getting the information of the target that means whether it is there or not whether it is there or not okay okay so acquisition is nothing but acquiring the presence of target information acquiring the presence of the target information suppose we are searching for a target in some area suppose this is the this entire screen is the area of your target okay in this entire area we are taking not the entire area we are taking only part of this area okay suppose the screen is the entire area you can view okay but your from your radar systems view you are taking an area this is the searching area okay or we can call it a scanning area okay so your radar system is able to identify the target information only in this particular scanning area in this area from this point to this point if any target is going out of this range it cannot be identified by the radar system this radar system for that we have to use for another radar system okay suppose if any target is there this is the target then we are using different types of patterns to identify this target information whether the target is there or not okay so normally a pencil beam is generally preferred how your radar antenna is going to uh, track or uh, going to identify the presence of target so initially a pencil beam a pencil beam what do you mean by pencil beam narrow beam a narrow beam narrow beam is employed to identify the presence of the target to identify the presence of the target okay what is the use of narrow beam why we are not using wide beam because narrow beam has the ability to travel long distance wide beam cannot travel long distance so that's why we are using narrow beam because narrow beam can travel can travel long distance okay that's why we are using narrow beam instead of wide beam okay using that pencil beam we are using we are scanning in this particular area so that once the target is identified then we will focus on this target depending on that different requirements will be there tracking if we are going for tracking tracking will be done if we are going to measure any type of parameter that can be measured okay so for this identification we are using pencil beam but we cannot focus at a single place we have to rotate the antenna plate in the entire scanning area okay suppose i am transmitting a pencil beam here uh, i am transmitting a pencil beam here only in this direction okay only the target identified can be identified only in this particular location but we need to scan in the entire box so what we need to do we need to rotate the antenna plate in any manner to identify the target so we need to rotate in this way or in this way or something like that definitely we should get information related to the target in the entire area of the vicinity of the radar system so for that different types of scanning patterns are going to be used 
hope you understand what is the mean what is the difference between uh, acquisition and scanning patterns scanning patterns are used to identify the presence of target nothing but acquisition acquisition is possible with different types of scanning patterns otherwise i will write here acquisition acquisition is possible acquisition is nothing but getting the target information whether it is located in the vicinity of the radar system or not that is what is the meaning of acquisition so this acquisition is possible with the help of with the help of different scanning patterns different scanning patterns okay so now we have to see what are the different scanning patterns available with us to identify the presence of the target so the different types of scanning patterns are these are the different types of scanning pattern so this is helical and this is a different circular motion this is uh, different types of uh, scanning patterns are there i will explain all these individually so first one helical scan helical scan so helical scan is nothing but which starts at this point and increases its beam in a circular fashion like this that means the pencil beam will be going in this upward direction okay that means in the helical uh, scan increases its uh, pencil beam direction like elevational angle okay the beam will be rotated in the, the scanning pattern will be rotated in the circular shape circular shape and that is nothing but helical shape to cover the particular area next one is palmer scan in the palmer scan see here this is the palmer scan here also the antenna plate will be rotating the pencil beam is rotating in this uh, uh, helical shape but what is the difference between the previous one and this one previously we have rotated that in the the plate actually rotates in the azimuthal direction and the beam is going in the elevational direction but here in the palmer direction in the palmer scan the plate is rotating in the elevational direction and the beam is going in the azimuthal direction hope you understand the difference between the palmer scan and helical scan helical scan is the beam is going in the vertical shape nothing but helical way so in order to generate that beam what is the direction that the plate has to rotate the plate has to rotate in the azimuthal direction but whereas in the palmer scan the antenna plate has to rotate in the um, azimuthal uh, what is that elevational direction and the beam is going in the horizontal direction nothing but azimuthal direction see here the beam will be rotating this movement this movement in the top to bottom from here to here we can say it is elevational motion okay elevational motion and as well as this movement is nothing but azimuthal okay both the movements are there so in palmer scan a rapid circular scan conical scan about the axis of antenna is combined with a linear movement of the axis of the rotation see the antenna suppose here it is the antenna plate that has to rotate like this and again like this again like this like this like this we had it has to rotate okay both if you observe particularly both the movements are there elevational and as well as azimuthal this is palmer scan next one is spiral scan in the spiral scan we are starting at one point and increasing our area slowly so the scan which covers an angular search volume with a circular symmetry is known as spiral scan these are used in fire control generally different applications are there for different uh, scanning patterns especially this spiral scan is used in the fire control tracking radars to assist the assist uh, acquisition of the target see here what is the different pattern we have uh, in the previous uh, two the pattern is rotated the antenna plate is rotating in a one circular fashion here also the antenna is going to rotate in a circular but here it starts at one point and slowly 
increasing its volume okay first initially it occupies this is the amount of volume later this is the amount of volume later this one later this one so as the time goes on it increases its volume again coming back to the normal position and slowly uh, go, doing the same operation again okay uh, spiral scan is used to cover more area among the different patterns where the scanning pattern starts at the center and slowly increases its pattern like this that, that's why it is spiral scan it's like a spiral scan the names of these uh, different patterns are given based on the shapes that are being emitted so next one is raster or tv scan so raster scan which paints the search area in a uniform manner is known as raster scan generally normally how we are doing painting how we paint a wall the same way it is working okay this is one of the simplest scan pattern it also provides convenience to search a limited sector rectangular in shape see here normally if you take a paint brush if you take a paint brush how you will do a painting on the wall so you will you will paint like this the same way how the raster scan is there okay once this particular area is completed again you will go to the next area like this okay this is the way how you are how we are painting the wall the same method we are using to uh, search the target information okay in the scanning uh, in the raster or tv scan also just we are starting the point we are starting the antenna point at this point antenna and the pencil beam will be released into the space first in the azimuthal direction again small elevation and again coming back to the elevation uh, azimuthal angle and small elevation coming forward in the azimuthal and small elevation and azimuthal how many directions that the antenna plate has to rotate two directions azimuthal and as well as elevational azimuthal and as well as elevational so azimuthal direction is there elevational direction is also there but what is the difference between the azimuthal and elevational here more more azimuthal less elevational more azimuthal and less elevational in this raster or tv scan okay see uh, we are we are going sweeping the antenna beam azimuthally long period and elevationally small period again azimuthally long period horizontally long vertically small okay this is the raster or tv scan opposite is the case with nodding scan see nodding scan which is produced by oscillating the antenna beam rapidly in elevation and slowly in azimuth this is known as nodding scan previous case was opposite okay rapidly in azimuthal slowly in elevation this scan covers the elevation angle up to 90 degrees and azimuth angle extending up to 360 degrees see here elevational elevational is nothing but in the vertical direction the elevational is nothing but in the going upward and going downward that means 90 degrees in there but azimuthal angle is nothing but in only in this direction so that is only 360 degrees or we can say it is zero degrees so more elevation more elevational and less azimuthal see in the upward direction it is it is moving more time period and in the downward direction also it is moving for more time period but horizontally it is having very less time period okay so it is taking more elevational and less azimuthal okay so this is the way how the nodding scan is going to be done these are the different uh, scanning patterns we have to identify the presence of the target so once the target is identified the next purpose is to 
uh, different types of uh, measurements we can do or else you can track the target okay